Welcome to Couch Surfing, the show where determined guests look back at their big roles, their little roles, and everything in between. I'm here with Terry Gilliam. Terry, hi. Hello. You ready to surf? Let's see what's let's on. Go to, let's go to town. Let's go to town, baby. <laughs> I was right in the middle of a f***ing reptile zoo. Oh, somebody was giving booze. This Fred Lonely is very, it's a romantic comedy. It's, it's a, basically, it's about you know, a bromance. <laughs> and, it's, and yet it this is, is what you're showing? It is. Look at this, this is madness. This is crazy. This, this is drug fuel. This, this is, is bad. This is an acid trip, my friend. <laughs> I said I want to take acid at, when we finished filming. So I, I'm a product of the 60s. I never took acid because I saw what it was doing to too many people I knew. And at the end, I... I never did, and yet most people assume this is the work of a drug-crazed lunatic. Yes. We were just people going to work in the morning, doing what was true to Hunter Thompson's book. Hunter actually made a cameo, correct? Yes. He did. Yes. What was that day like on set? It's horrible. <laughs> but, <laughs> Why? Because Hunter has to be the center of attention. And there we were, Harry Dean Stanton was there that day, and Hunter was throwing bread rolls around the set all the time, and finally we had to get him in for his scene. I put the best looking of all the, the female extras on his table. Uh. And there he was. 